Hey everybody, thanks for joining me, I appreciate you. My name's Neil, and welcome to a Post to Post unboxing. This is number 13 in my collection of reverse retros. If you haven't seen the first 12, 12 please go watch them because in the last one, a couple people commented, are you gonna get the Nashville one? Are you gonna get the Arizona one? Actually, I already got those, so you might wanna go check those videos out. But this one is one that I had zero intentions of buying, but when I saw that it was going out of stock everywhere, I thought, okay, well, even though I don't love this one, um, the fact that it's becoming a bit rare means that maybe I should kind of uh, try and invest in, and get this one. So I sold actually two jerseys just to be able to afford this one. And uh, I know recently I said, you know, I'm not gonna be buying jerseys anymore. And that is actually true. <laughs> even though I'm unboxing a jersey in this video, I ordered this prior to that. And just to let you guys know, I'm just gonna tell you what's coming. I have two jerseys coming from the United States. One is a reverse retro. I have one coming from Sport Check that I ordered three and a half weeks ago. It's finally on its way. That's not a reverse retro. And I have um, one coming from a company. They're actually sending it to me for free. And that is a reverse retro. That's gonna be for a sponsored video. So two non-reverse retro jerseys coming and two reverse retro jerseys coming. So at the end of my journey on reverse retros, it'll be 15. And that's only possible because of the two I got for free and uh, all of the jerseys that I sold <laughs> in my collection to be able to afford them. So you can expect four jersey unboxings coming sometime in the next three-ish weeks and uh, some uh, four hats, I think as well. So four jerseys, four hats, and that, that should be it, I think, to unbox, but. Let's get on with this one. I'm running a little bit low on time today, editing time mainly, so I'm actually not gonna do a montage. If this is your first video, um, then this won't, you won't even know what I'm talking about, but usually I do a, a close-up montage video for um, my unboxing, my reveals, to show everything in detail and stuff. And uh, the filming of that doesn't take too long, but the editing uh, takes a while. And I'm running a little bit low, unfortunately, today. So, um, I'm not gonna do that. I will take close up photos though and just kind of put them in if that's okay. But I'm gonna do the reveal right now without even going to a montage. I apologize in advance, um, but the next two will definitely have uh, montages. So, do I want you guys to guess? Of course I want you guys to guess. I love when you guys guess. I'll give you some hints. This is an Eastern team and uh, super rare. There, that, I already said that earlier, so. Leave your comments down below, pause the video if you need to, leave your comments and see if you're right. Just gotta check it myself here real quick. Okay, <laughs> okay, I've said this in the last couple of videos. This is nicer in person than it is in photos. I would say this is substantially nicer in, in person. All right, here we go. Did you guess correctly? The Florida Panthers. Oh, snap. Wow. This, this really does look good in person. The detail, the detail of this logo, I know I said I wasn't gonna do any close-up video, but I'll do this at least, because the camera will do it some justice. I apologize if I hit the mic. But just look at the level of, uh, of detail here. It is remarkable. I kinda like to see things at a bit of a, shallow depth of field so you can see the actual depth of the stitching and stuff. I'm not sure if you can see that. My screen's pretty small up there, so I can't tell. Wow. I definitely like this more in person. I'm actually genuinely surprised at how much I like this in person. It was really kind of a middle of the pack jersey for me, but uh, that's, that's quite sharp. That is quite sharp. The shoulder patches, just to confirm, they are more of the squishy, comfortable material versus the hard ones like on the Arizona Coyotes, that one down there. The shoulder patches, is re it's really thick and it's hard to bend. So it's a bit annoying to wear with the shoulders. This one, uh, this one's gonna be really, really nice to wear. So I'm looking forward to this one. It's size 50, I switched from 46 to size 50 recently. Logo was huge on there, it's, it's the perfect size, so it looks great. Oh yeah. Of course, I will be sending this off to get hand stitched. And if I ever get in money trouble, in the future, and I need a jersey to sell, it's probably gonna be this one, unfortunately. I might even leave the tags on, to be honest, and get it hand-stitched. Um, just because if I ever do need, if I ever get in trouble or something like that, I can probably sell this for, if it was hand-stitched, I don't know, like 250 bucks or $300 or something like that, so 
always kind of nice to have that in the back pocket in the jersey collection just in case you never know what's going to happen in life who knows what comes up right so might need to go to the dentist or something like that who knows so um but uh I may change my, my, my tone on that because the more I look at, at this, the more I, I really, really like this. And I actually don't have a dark Florida Panthers jersey. I only have the white Adidas one. I don't have a dark one. So this is very complimentary to my um, current collection of, of Panthers jerseys, which is just one and now two. So heck yeah. Boom. Now the next two reverse retros jerseys that are coming, just as a little hint for next time, are both from the previous Eastern Conference. <laughs> I know things have changed around a little bit, but if you think back to last year or the previous year, um, yeah, both of those reverse retros are from the Eastern Conference. And if you know the re reverse retros that I have now, you can kind of eliminate some of the ones from the Eastern Conference. So, hmm. Alrighty, well, I will add some photos, maybe to the end of this one, so you guys can see this up close. I appreciate you watching. There's gonna be an unboxing video coming soon. Uh, probably in three or four days of the next reverse retro. I'm just not exactly sure when I'm going to have it. I don't have it in my hands yet. It's on the way, but I think it's close. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I appreciate you. If you want to get your hands on a reverse retro jersey, there are still some in stock at coolhockey.com, but go to www.coolhockey.com slash post to post and uh, purchase your jersey that way. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Just using that URL helps the channel. I get just a, a small little insignificant kickback of, of money, and it also lets them know that, hey, we watch Post to Post, we support them. And uh, yeah, like I said, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just a, an added step that um, helps the channel. So I appreciate you. We'll see you soon. Have a great night. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Hit the like button if you like this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios. Wow.